Hi all, it's Sofan from TechCycle. So you have installed the community build of Android Pi for the OnePlus 3 by following that guide or by following another guide. And now after using that community build, that is Android Pi, you are feeling not well while using your OnePlus 3. You are not getting that performance or you are feeling that the performance of the phone is affected by that community build and the phone feels sluggish and you want to return back to that android oreo that is the oos 5.0.8 that is the stock rom that is the android oreo version you want to revert back to the stock rom on your oneplus 3 or oneplus 3t and you are looking for a guide and in this video you have found the guide and in this video i'm going to give you guys that tutorial so that you can revert back to the stock rom that is android oreo without losing any of your data that means you are not going to lose any of your personal data by following this tutorial so let's jump into this tutorial so by following this guide you are not going to lose any bit of your information but the guide is little bit complicated and we are using oneplus switch to back up our all the internal data because when we downgrade, that is when we downgrade from Android Pi to Android Oreo, the internal data, that is the data of the Android application, Android, all the application, all the contact, all the messages, all that sort of things cannot be downgraded to the old version. It can be upgraded but cannot be downgraded. There is some issue and we can't use OnePlus 3 after that downgrading. So we need to wipe all the internal data. Now we are not wiping the internal memory that is the location where we are storing photo music videos we are not cleaning that internal memory we are cleaning the internal data memory where we are storing all the files that is application contact messages like that files we are going to clean that we are going to wipe the data and everything so we are going to lose that data but by using the oneplus switch application we can back up all that files and we can restore that to our older version so Head over to Play Store and download OnePlus Switch application. After that, open this OnePlus Switch and choose Backup and Restore. And on the Backup option, choose New Backup and Backup all your data that you needed on the older version, that is Android Oreo version. So after backupping all your data, download the OOS 5.0.8, that is the Android Oreo version. I will leave the link to that in the description. Download that. It's about 1.6 gigs and copy that to the internal memory and after that add over to settings system settings system upgrades and choose settings local upgrades and choose the file that you downloaded that is the OS 5.0.8 just upgrade to that version and it's going to downgrade your oneplus 3 or oneplus 3t to android oreo so it is going to take time and if you are facing the installation failed issue just add over to recovery mode and Choose install from internal storage and choose the OS 5.0.8 zip file and it's going to install it successfully. So after installing the Android Oreo, your phone is going to boot into Android Oreo. It's not going to boot, it's going to stuck into that boot screen and it's going to boot into recovery mode. If not, you can choose the button combination that is volume down plus power button to boot into recovery mode. On recovery mode, choose wipe settings and choose wipe data never choose erase everything as it's going to erase all your internal memory never choose that choose wipe data and catch and after wiping reboot your device and your device is going to boot into android oreo so after booting into android oreo do all that regular setup thing and add out to play store and download oneplus switch and open oneplus switch and choose backup and restore and choose restore and choose the back up the file that is the one with the date that you back up that is the current date you are backing that internal data using oneplus switch application so restore that using oneplus switch application and voila now you have successfully reverted back to android oreo from that sluggish community build of android pi so basically we didn't lose any of the data except from the data of the internal application that is system application and all that application we lost some data on that apart from that system application we didn't lose any bit of our data as we have backed and we have restored it successfully 
so that's it that's how you revert back to android oreo from android pi i hope all of you got the idea of reverting back to android oreo without losing any of the data and if you are facing any issue or if you are having any doubt just comment down below i'll be there to help you so that's all about this video guys thanks for watching talk to you next one and don't forget to subscribe